This is ridiculously oversized surround speakers from Polk LSIM series. My current surround speaker looks tiny in front of uh, these monsters. These are big and heavy. So let's take a quick look. It's double boxed, so that looks good. When people talk about high-end or audiophile grade speakers, you usually don't hear the name Polk. But uh, Polk succeeded in uh, entering into high-end market with their uh, LSIM series line of speakers. That's not good. It's no damage to the order box. Hopefully it's good inside. These are big and heavy and they weigh uh, 60 pounds. That's 30 pounds each. That's crazy heavy for uh, surround speakers. Just like uh, electronics, uh, speaker prices are often inflated. And when you market your speakers as a high-end speaker, usually it comes with a high price tag. Uh, the MSRP on this uh, is uh, $1,500 and uh, they are usually sold at 50% uh, off around uh, $750. Uh, this one Adorama had a hit on sale for 75% uh, off, so I got them for uh, $345. And uh, they come only in black, so that's the only color you can buy. Here we go. And these are uh, really big speakers. And this looks like the, these are the magnets probably holding the grill. And uh, thankfully uh, the speaker looks good. It looks like only the box was ripped and I, I don't see any damage to the speakers. Uh, so even though the uh, speaker spec says everything in terms of uh, weight and size, you don't realize how big they are unless you see them in person. Wall mount is going to be tough because these are heavy and the build quality of this speaker looks on par uh, for the MSRP uh, they are charging. Let's remove the grill and take a look. So here is your uh, mid-range and tweeter just on one side, the other side is just plain. Paul calls them as a dynamic sonic engine and um, that's your uh, wall distance switch so if your bass gets boomy you can just toggle it and that's your uh, mid woofer it's an interesting design or you can call it a cost saving factor as the tweeter uh, mid-range combo is only on one side uh, the grill is made up of metal and comes with uh, eight magnets to keep them uh, in place so it looks pretty good not bad at all here are my other surround speakers. This is a Pioneer Dolby Atmos. And this one is from Axiom. I really like this a lot. This is a quad pole. There is a, a two tweeters firing on either side. And then there is a two uh, woofers, one on the top and one on the bottom. The issue with this is a placement nightmare as this can be only wall mounted and cannot be uh, kept on a stand because of the bottom firing woofer. And next one is the Polk. Uh, my Axiom doesn't even come close to it. Look uh, how tiny it looks when compared to uh, the Polk. This is my basement uh, home theater setup. It's a 7.1 setup with Axiom speakers. And the Polk is uh, sitting here as a temporary setup. And as you can see, the sonic engine is pointing to the listening area, which is uh, somewhere here on both sides. Uh, eventually, uh, the Polk will go up here and the Axioms uh, will go up here as a 7.1 setup. So, 
So I'm gonna play a demo. Let's see how the speaker sounds. So he's always here, always takes a friend seat, loves to watch movie. Um, not sure how much my camera can capture, but right this him. sounds really great. I would love to show you more, play some long clips, but uh, YouTube's uh, copyright algorithm is uh, downright uh, crazy. So I'm just gonna play it safe and keep talking as the music is playing. But this really sounds good. So you heard the demo, hopefully you like it. I really loved it. Uh, will I pay uh, $1,500 for this uh, surround speakers? Hell no. Will I pay $750 at the current uh, sale price? Probably not. Will I pay $350? Bucks? Definitely yes. These are uh, totally worth $350. If you can find them on sale, I would say get it. These are totally worth it. Hopefully uh, you like this video. Thanks for watching.